You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're recapping the WWE pay-per-view TLC. Yes, the Raw pay-per-view. A Raw exclusive pay-per-view, yes. With Ex- one SmackDown superstar. I was going to say, not necessarily 100% true anymore. It's true. Um, so... It's damn true. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna preface this with if you watched our uh, predictions video, a couple of matches are a little different. Than Doesn't the matter. I got all the matches right. All of them. All of them. Yeah. I, I'm like as soon as soon as um the second match was the tag team match, yeah. right? As soon as that happened, I'm like <laughs> I'm gonna get every single one of these wrong, or I'm gonna get all the ones that we got different. Wrong. Yeah. Um. I originally I actually thought I picked uh. Alicia Fox. Oh, you Sasha. did? I thought originally, because I was like, hmm, this doesn't make sense why they would have her win so many. But then I looked, and I was like, oh, I did pick Sasha. Yeah. Also, it doesn't make any sense for Sasha to lose to Alicia Fox. No. But Well, that brings us right to the first match. Kind of. The pre-show match. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before that, actually, back, did you watch the pre-show? I, uh, it was on, and I if something happened that seemed important, I actually mm. paid attention to you it. So you saw the Elias part? Oh, yeah, when yeah. he walked in on Kurt yeah. Angle and yeah. Jason Jordan hugging mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, they were talking, and uh, Elias wanted to be on the show. He wanted to sing a song. Yes. So Kurt was kind of like, oh, whatever, do do your thing. I got a match. <laughs> I don't give a crap about yeah. what you had to say. And then Jason Jordan made a remark, and Elias was like, well, at least I'm on the show or something it's true. like that. It was funny. It is true. It was funny. And that uh, we did not get the PowerPoint presentation by Drew Gulak. Did you see him, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. <laughs> he was so funny. So he comes up to the, um, I guess, the pre-show panel, desk. The panel yeah. desk that's in the stands. And he starts yelling at the people. <laughs> He's like, I got cut for time. This is unacceptable. <laughs> and then he started ranting, and then they cut him off. Mm-hmm. It was great. And you I, could still hear him talking even though yes. his microphone was off. Yep. <laughs> that, yeah. he was using his um, his, mega, his yeah, megaphone, the megaphone, Yeah. and the, the crowd was booing him when he was talking. I <laughs> ah, love Drew Gulak. Yeah. He's great. They got some good stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, to the first match, which is on the pre-show with Alicia Fox versus Sasha Banks. Yeah. Um, Not a huge surprise here. No. Nah. Kind of strange that they... There was no split booking. Like, you would expect Alicia to at least get one victory over I don't, Sasha. I think their 50 50 booking only applies to people who are wrestling within their own um, area of the card. I guess. You know what I mean? Because, like, Braun Strowman, he's not going to lose to a jobber like when he first. No. You know what I mean? No, I, I get I, it. It's an extreme comparison, Yeah, but it's the same thing. But right? yeah, she made her tap out in the five way for whoever the winner faced Oscar uh-huh. with the bank statement. Yes. Then last week with the bank statement. Yeah. And then last night with yeah, the bank statement. Exactly. Yeah, it's just. So I, I, I think. Well, I would have much rather had Jason Jordan and Elias on the pre show. Well, this. that was okay. We need a, we need a, a cushion match between. Yeah, I know. So. Which we honestly, well, we kind of predicted that it was going to be the, well, we said Enzo and Kalisto, right? Yeah. It was going to be the cushion match. Mm-hmm. That didn't end up happening. But they got the women's matches out of the way as soon as possible. Uh, technically speaking, I yeah. guess that's true. Um, not that either of them were bad. No. So. No. All right. So I guess, yeah, Alicia Fox lost to tapping out to the bank statement yet again. Yeah. No, but, surprise. Uh, that brings us to the opening of the show, and yes. we get the debut of Asuka. Yeah. So, Asuka I was, versus Emma. I was kind of surprised when this was first, but at the same time, I wasn't mm-hmm. surprised. Yeah. Because it makes sense. It gets everyone excited for the yeah. show. Very much like the TLC tag team match last uh, a couple weeks ago. Right. Yeah, with the yeah. New Day and uh, the Usos. The Hell in a Cell. You said yeah. TLC, didn't you? I thought I said Hell in a Cell, I but know. I could have said TLC. Maybe I was thinking um, TLC because I was reading it. And... It's true. Anyway, um, yeah, this was, was a pretty good match. I think Emma was a good opponent for Asuka. Yeah. Because she has the arrogant, self, um, self-absorbed uh, mm-hmm. character to kind of like get shown up. Right. And she was playing it off like um, I'm, I'm the best and I can, I can take her down. And then she ended up losing to Asuka. Right. Um, I, I think they gave this match too much time. I think Asuka should have beaten her sooner. 
Um, I but, guess in terms of like just the way Asuka's looks, is that what you mean? The way Asuka's booked and the way Emma's booked. Emma's basically booked as a jobber for the most part. When does Emma really get meaningful victories? She only won this match because she snuck up on Sasha and rolled her up. It's true. She's, it's it's a shame because Emma's actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not disagreeing that. But, I mean, you think about the casual fan that's watching and seeing Asuka for the first time, uh -huh. and all of a sudden, you know, she's built up as this beast, basically, that uh -huh. has this undefeated, undefeated streak, and then she's barely getting by. I mean, not barely, but... She's yeah. having a competitive match with somebody who's booked so poorly week to week. Yeah, they really should have made this Sasha. I don't know why they didn't. I mean, they'll probably have their own program where they're going to go. You know, it'll be well, a built but program. A, a one-off match to start makes no sense. It, it, no, I, There's I, I, really no harm to doing mm -hmm. it. Um, And it's not going to hurt Sasha. Sasha's not doing anything. She yeah. wrestled Alicia Fox after all. It's true. So, And we'll not get any royalties because she was off the main card. It's true. <laughs> um any hoo-ha yeah so yeah it was, it was a good match like i said emma emma tapped out to the oscar lock mm -hmm. you're right they probably shouldn't have made it so competitive but it was an entertaining match nonetheless. yeah no that's and that's really what it comes down to it's true and also people I are into oscar there are emma's got a lot of fans so yeah so b just just having uh oscar take a little longer to beat emma mm -hmm. doesn't really hurt her too much because everyone's gonna be no so no but i mean she looked like she was not working as quick as she normally works in nxt yeah but well, i guess it depends on the opponent yeah so yeah because her last opponents have been people she's probably comfortable working with also granted mickey james she went in and had a fantastic match with she also has been injured and i don't know how much she's wrestled since that's that. true so yeah there's a good chance that this is only a couple of matches back or that whatever. is very 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 fair point so but, yeah. anyway mm -hmm. so up next we had a backstage segment with uh the miz and the bar they uh they said tonight's not going to be about nostalgia because Kurt Angle is trying to make it all about him. Yep, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna make them pay. Right. That brings us to Elias out on the stage singing, not in the ring. Yes, he was <laughs> he was on the ramp. Um, I think he started his song right. He he got. Did he get a couple? He, he got pretty far into it. Yeah. I I was sitting there and I'm like. What? When's are they he gonna, gonna let him what? sing his full yeah. song? <laughs> like, when, when are they going to interrupt him? Because that's how this works. <laughs> He's not supposed to sing the whole song. Right. And then out of out of seemingly nowhere. Yeah, I see a piece of, like, I thought it was lettuce fly. It was and lettuce. It hits him. And then I was like, wait, did he, somebody just throw celery or yeah. lettuce I at him? And then I, all of a sudden, celery starts coming. Yeah, it looked like it was. It came from the crowd initially. Yeah. and Or it's like someone ran in while the lights <laughs> were out. Yeah. Um, right, yeah, because it was completely dark, and then yeah. all of a sudden the lights turned on. You see Jason Jordan standing there with a shopping, shopping cart, cart throwing <laughs> produce at him. It was pretty funny. It was something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And Jason Jordan just walks away, and mm -hmm. Elias just he sits just like there. smiles and waves. Yeah. yeah. Which the crowd gave him a positive reaction. It was it was something nice and good. It was a Kurt Angle esque thing to do mm -hmm. because you remember back in the early two thousands, Kurt Angle when he was a face was a very good. Well, even even when he was a heel too. Yeah, he was very With goofy. Him and Lesnar. Well, no, him and, uh, and him Christian. and uh, Austin. Too. Oh, that's true. Yes. Yeah. With the, that was during the invasion angle. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, a very goofy, lighthearted stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that could be what they're trying to go for. But whatever. Moving on. Moving on to the Cruiserweight Tag Team Match. Yeah. The first of two matches on a pay-per-view main card for the Cruiserweights. Yeah. So we had Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher versus Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan. Mm -hmm. um, was that new music for um, Gallagher? Or did he have that last week? I did not watch 205 last week. Um, it, it's pretty much... It was like a slower pace of his... It's probably jolly old england i'll tell you what though his attire suits him perfectly yeah the, the old gangs of new york type uh, yeah because the uh the rainbow trunks nah not working for it, a heel while it well obviously not for a heel but <laughs> while it, even he could keep it as a face too mm -hmm. but like um yeah and just, yeah exactly because that chest just, that hangs it, out in the bar drinking yeah it looks <laughs> like it just looks like his He's got like, the gloves on and everything. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Um, interesting. What is he wearing? Wingtip shoes to wrestle? 
Doesn't just matter. like Braun in his work boots. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it, a lot of them wear very odd clothing. Yeah, like Dean used to wear jeans. Now well, Mickey a James of, does. A lot of well, Mickey James's attire was extremely <laughs> ridiculous looking. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. like a lot of them wear yeah. like a lot of them wear jeans. Actually, mm-hmm. surprisingly enough. Yeah. But whatever. This was a. I thought it was a decent match. It was pretty good. At first, I thought that it was going to be a squash match because of the way it was going it at started, the beginning. Yeah. Because Swan and Alexander really just, they just laid had into complete him. offense. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then um, it was for a decent amount of time, so I'm like, they can end this like super yeah. quick. I-, I thought that as well, but then they were able to. The heels were able to slow him down and yeah. work their game. Mm-hmm. You know, keeping uh, I think it was what Swan isolated, right? Yeah, Swan uh, took a quite quite the beating. Yeah. Um. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. It really seemed like Cedric Alexander was like Getting using this opportunity to mm-hmm. show what he can do. Not that he doesn't always do that, but it just like kind of felt that that's, that's what he was trying to... He had something to prove. Yeah. And the crowd was actually getting into the match, too. Mm-hmm. When uh, Swan was being isolated, they were actually cheering and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I think the <clears throat> crowd reaction in general for the, the Cruiserweight stuff is getting a little better. Yeah. Um... But yeah, it's it's uh it was a good match. Um, yeah. U- ultimately, uh, Cedric Alexander is able to hit the lumbar check on uh, the Spanky, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Kendrick. Yeah. Um. um yeah, there was a good spot where uh, Kendrick and uh, not Kendrick, uh, Gallagher hit the headbutt on who's that Swan, I think, and Swan rolled out of the ring, and then Gallagher rolled out the other way, and that's oh, yeah. when the finish happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, good match. Yeah. Good to see the cruiserweights getting a non-title match on the pay-per-view it's true uh, very odd but true and it was built up because there was oh this story has been going on yeah. for a few weeks mm-hmm. now so if you can't com- you can't complain about that no 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 mm-hmm. it, it's you know it that's the nice thing about having a, a main event that uses so many people is that it gives opportunities to the the, yeah. the lower card mm-hmm. so and it lets things develop mm-hmm. and we got an interview with alexa bliss backstage which I believe she said she liked her butt. Yes. She she uh she's like I don't even know what that means, biscuit butt. Yeah. So now the creepy fans can start uh talking about her butt more. Stro gives them uh gives them oh, she uh, said she the has right a nice to do. But I can say it too. Crazy people. Yeah, it's true. And uh what did she say that Mickey's face Hall of Famers, but they were in the good old days, right? Yeah, that was her good that was the good old days right. for her when she was facing Hall of Famers. And, and now, now she's just old. She's just old. Um, and that brought us to the title match yes. with Alexa Bliss defending her women's title against Mickey James. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was a decent match overall. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I thought this was maybe a little better than anticipated. Well, it seemed like um, Mickey was trying a lot harder mm-hmm. then. But in all fairness, she's been doing the same same role as Emma, where she's just the face that's going to get squashed. Yeah. But now that she's in the title match, she's more competitive. Mm. And it shows that she's obviously can get more into it. Um, yeah, I think they yeah. had a couple of good spots where they traded offense, like they were uh, dodging each other's moves. Yeah. And then ultimately Mickey hit a kick and Alexa hit a punch and they both knocked each other down. Yeah. yeah. it's It seemed like they... Um, they made it so it felt like the two of them knew each other mm-hmm. and had history, which is technically true. Yeah. They didn't really have a feud in the past, but... No, it was just that... Well, they were starting to on SmackDown. Yeah, but they didn't actually have, like, no. a long, drawn-out mm-hmm. feud. But, they did not. But it was uh, it was good. Yep. Uh, at the end of the match, um, Mickey had grabbed Alexa by her hair, mm-hmm. and then the ref's like, you can't do that, and he pulls onto her, and then Alexa grabs Mickey, throws her into the, the turnbuckle... Turn it's the DDT for the win. That was all she wrote. And then here was the first of the strange occurrences. Yeah, the random interview after the match. Yeah, so uh, Charlie comes up to Mickey, the loser of the match, mm-hmm. and asks what's next for her. And then Mickey goes, well, I am disappointed, but this most certainly won't be my last match or my last title shot. As if, you know, we were expecting her to retire. Yeah. Honestly... Since she started, since that happened, I was thinking maybe it was have been, would have been that. Yeah, I don't think. No, obviously it's not now. No need to. But I thought that that might have been what Mm. the case was. It's an odd place to do it. Especially with Nia out, they probably want to 
keep as many people around as possible. Well, yeah, but it's not like it'd be the WWE's decision if she doesn't want to wrestle anymore. No, but yeah. money talks, my friend. Well, that's true, but she's not going to use that. Like, obviously, if they do something like that, like they're going to know about it. They're not going to just. Enough. They sent Charlie out there. It's true. So it doesn't mean anything. It's true. Um, so after the match, mm-hmm. we had Elias segment part two. So is this where he was getting heavily booed and then he said, I'm going to have to start over again? Or was that in the third segment? I think that was that one because the third segment... It was just the match? Yeah, it didn't really build to anything. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was, like you said, the same mm-hmm. same thing except for the... No, yeah, it was almost literally the same thing, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. And yeah. then, then Jason Jordan threw more fruit yeah. at him. Yeah, yeah that's what that's yeah. what I mean. Like it almost exactly was the same thing. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, up next we have Enzo versus Kalisto. Yeah, this is probably the, the worst match. Who is away title? Well, that was to be expected. Yeah. Um, Apparently, I mean, not that anybody should be surprised, but Kalisto just says Enzo does not have it. In an interview he did, I don't remember where. Uh huh. But just yeah. Well, it's true. Uh, Enzo Enzo got where he is because of his mic skills, Mm -hmm. not because of his wrestling. And thankfully, he was losing his voice, yet he still cut a promo. It's true. Two-minute-long promo, which we did not need. But hey, eh, whatever. We don't need much with him. Um, But yeah, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean... It was it. Was, it had a couple sloppy moments, like when Kalisto went to hit that Hurricane Rana that he oh, and he yeah. just completely uh-huh. missed Enzo. Uh-huh. Yeah. Enzo still sold it though. Yeah. So technically, that's not Enzo's fault. It's true. Um, I think sometimes Kalisto is just overly ambitious too. That and he's probably moving too quick than it for his opponent. Yeah. As well. So, um, but yeah, um, Enzo ends up winning after hitting a, a Jordanzo after a thumb to the eye. Yep. And uh, pins him. And now he is a two-time Cruiserweight mm-hmm. champion. Which I love when he poked him in one eye, and he's going like this, like he can't see mm-hmm. anything. Well, Kalisto's not very smart. <laughs> oh, man. So. Yeah. And that brought us to our main, I mean, nope, the uh, nope, best we're not match of the night. done yet. Because <laughs> Enzo also got interviewed after the match. Oh, yes, match. he did. So this time, the victor got interviewed after the match. And he says, I'd think- like to thank myself. Yeah. Which was weird. Yeah. Whatever. Not important, but it Not did really. happen. Yeah. I don't know where they go from here with Enzo. Um, They'll probably just have someone else chase the belt. Yeah. And Kalisto will disappear again. Or is he going to try and do the same stuff? Or Cruiserweight Division can't touch him now that he's champion. Well, it's true. He he did exercise the... <laughs> Or I should say there's probably they no just going to other... call somebody else up now? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just keep getting new people. No, Sin Carl will come back. There we go. <laughs> He's too busy beating Baron Corbin. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that brought us to AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. A yeah. much a match that we've all wanted to see, and uh, very surprising to see it. It's true, especially because it came out of nowhere. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I got to give a lot of credit to AJ. He had, what, an 18-hour flight to get home, and then he was able to put on a match like this. An 18-hour flight? He's in Chile. I guess that is yeah. far away. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's AJ. He's a phenomenal one after yeah. all. Um, this, you could just feel this was a big match. The it's crowd true. was just super into it right from the get-go. Yeah. And they did not disappoint. It's true. It was a very good match. Um, Honestly? I don't think this was, you know, the best match they could obviously have together. I don't. I think that they didn't want to do no, that. To there's be obviously him. building up to another yeah. a rematch. Well, it, or at the very least... The potential for mm-hmm. one. But this is ultimately what you would expect from these two. Mm-hmm. And you know what really is nice? What? Finn actually had an opponent that can wrestle. It's true. Well, he had Seth last year. Last year. I know he's only been back since, what, a little after Mania? Yeah. But since then, he's had, what, Bray Wyatt? Yeah. Who else did he have? Uh, Jinder. Remember? Gave him a concussion. <laughs> we were there. Right? Or yes. was that the yeah. that was, no, it was, yeah. that was when we were there because yeah. we were very confused about the way the match <laughs> ended. Um, he just fell over. And then, oh yeah, then he was in the, what, six pack challenge or fatal five way? There's the fatal five extreme rules That's match. It. That's terrible. And then terrible. he did nothing. What did he do with Great Balls of Fire? Uh, nothing. Oh yeah, he was off that I think car, it was on right? Miss TV. Maybe that was it. Or was that. 
Or maybe. maybe that was the payback or something. Yeah. All right. Well, regardless, yeah. since he's been back, he really hasn't had formidable opponents to showcase his talent. It's true. And uh, yeah, this was this was something. Uh, I'll be honest though, hmm. I think that, and I know why they did it. I don't think he should have had the demon paint on. Yeah, I feel I like mean, this match would be more appropriate if he was just Finn Balor. Well, that, I mean, ultimately. <laughs> As stupid as it sounds, that AJ lost to the demon and not Finn Balor himself. Yeah, I just yeah. I feel like no, yeah, it but would... they advertised the demon, so yeah. they were going to put the demon. That's, on. Yeah. That's what I no, meant by yeah. I knew why they did it. Right, but it just it feels like this is more of a like you kind of it, it would feel more right mm-hmm. if it was just Finn Balor. Granted, yeah. I know the demon's like a big thing for him, right? But at the same time, I just for me, I feel like that that would be the case. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. I don't know. Fair enough. But yeah, this was a good technical match. They a lot of uh, completely back and forth. This was 50-50 pretty much throughout the yes. entire match. Um so there, there's a lot of reports with like uh the WWE sending cease and desist orders to Bullet Club in New Japan about the too sweet thing and then Vince had to go and tell the announcers to oh, talk yeah. about how they both um, were leaders of a club. Yes. But but AJ came out and said last week that he was not officially the leader of the Bullet Club. It was Carl Anderson. Not that it has any importance, but it was just funny. Because everybody was saying this was the two leaders of the Bullet Club meeting up. Uh-huh. But then AJ came out and said, I was never the leader of the Bullet Club. Carl Anderson was. Really? Yeah. I that's thought, what he I said. thought that's, that I could have swore that. I don't know. Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm matter. pretty sure that's what I remember here seeing. Oh, no, I believe yeah. you. But I'm just saying that's a little strange. I don't. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't think that was the case. Yeah, apparently. Whatever. Yeah. So, and then after the match, well, we didn't even tell who wins. Oh, sorry. We didn't get into there. We didn't even get into a couple of good spots. The Hurricane Rana that AJ hit off the top rope. That was cool. Calf Crusher, which Finn yeah. sold for a good part of the match. Yeah, when he he put him into the Calf Crusher, it was a beautiful reversal. Yeah, it was also a very elongated Calf mm-hmm. Crusher, and he was able to keep it on for quite yep. a quite a long time. Then Finn hit the what was it the nineteen? What? Uh, yeah, I've never heard that 11? name. Yeah, he's that. used it before. I forget what. So there's a lot of contradicting things here, because. Michael Cole goes, oh, we haven't seen him use this in a while. Mm -hmm. And then Booker T goes, I've never seen this move before. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. So Um, it was pretty funny. Yeah. And Finn was getting the upper hand on the outside. He hit him with the kick from the apron and then the the drop kick into the uh, barrier. Uh And that's when brought him into the ring. And I think after a little while, ultimately hit the drop kick into the corner, which AJ sold like crazy. Yeah. He well, looked he, like he, he flew into mm-hmm. the corner and then Finn hit the double stomp and like stayed on AJ for a second. And then was like, yeah, oh, that I'm was supposed to drop. Yeah. I was going to say that seemed like a uh, AJ absorbed the blow. Yeah, Not necessarily a mistake, yeah. but it seemed like a miscue. Mm-hmm. And Finn picked up the victory here true. which isn't a huge surprise no, considering no, no, no. a it was a raw show yeah and b finn needs all the wins he can get yeah that was not a surprise at all um and then after the match we got a two sweet from the two of them yeah so apparently aj also tweeted out that none of that was scripted that was just some mutual respect that finn and aj sent to each other because they wanted to remember that where they came from fair so, enough yeah it wasn't vince going do the two sweet <laughs> damn it show those young bucks we have the rights. I, I certainly felt like that that might have <laughs> oh, been yeah, the case. Oh, no, no, no. yeah, I understand that. And people were posting it online, and that's when AJ went and said it. Yeah. So, anyway. But, of course, this, we're going to get a rematch. Oh, yeah, eventually. No about it. Uh, it even could, you know, I know it's not necessarily a, something that they can plan this far out of. But they could very easily have, a, like, a WrestleMania match or yeah. something. Or, like, let's say for argument's sake, um, Finn wins the Rumble, and mm-hmm. at the time AJ is the world champion, he challenges AJ right. for that title. Yeah, we didn't. They didn't talk about that last year, right? What? They didn't go into anything because when Randy won the Rumble, it wasn't. Oh uh, well, last year the rule was you have so to face your, your brand, show's yeah, champion, but they could change. But that, in like the you past, said. it it you didn't matter. Choose. Yeah. So. Because I, I believe there were points in time where they went, oh, who is he going to choose to face? Because I know for a fact that 2005, I think it was, when mm-hmm. Batista won, 
he was on SmackDown, but he challenged Triple H oh, for right. the for the the World Heavyweight Title. Gotcha. So there's precedence. Well, obviously it's WWE, so there's no such thing as precedence. Mm-hmm. But it has happened in the past. Fair enough. Um. All right. So, so un- oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, unfortunately, up next we got <laughs> Elias versus Jason Jordan, and not to discredit either of them. But this was just a terrible place on the card for anybody to wrestle. Well, this is a this is a bathroom break match. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, it, the crowd was just completely out of this match. Uh-huh. And Jason Jordan was trying to get a good match out of Elias, and Elias didn't really seem like he wanted to uh, flow with Jason Jordan. Well, I don't he, had, know. he had gotten produce pelt at him. <laughs> Pelted yes, at him true. the entire night. So, but they made a match because of throwing vegetables. Yes, it's true. So I was a little distracted during this match mm-hmm. with the Kalisto <laughs> sign. No, oh, no. Okay, although that was funny. It said Kalisto killed Harambe. Yeah. So, um, anyway, I, I, because Booker T on several occasions mm. had said, well. Uh, Kurt Angle is coming back from a hiatus of wrestling for 11 yeah. years. I'm like, how would you want to bet that Booker T and Kurt Angle faced they each other in TNA? TNA? They did Yeah, yeah, Michael. <laughs> I remember hearing that. So I Googled Kurt Angle versus Booker T in TNA. Yeah. Turns out it happened in 2008. Yeah. So it, w- it was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. But during that match, I saw a lot of interesting things. So first of all, you actually Booker, watched the match? I, you, I, I skipped, skipped through parts I of it. You. So Booker T has got his long King Booker hair. Mm-hmm. Um, Kurt Angle looks a lot younger and less um, leathery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he lived in Florida. He was, you know, he was out in the sun all the time. It's true. So during the match, a, uh, a more filled out with long hair Bobby Roode comes out. <laughs> and then Christian comes out and then after that kevin nash comes out and then tyson tomko okay i'm like (laughs) wow i'm glad i didn't really watch tna uh there was some bad times in tna there's no doubt about it and before the match started there was a clip of something going on with aj styles Mm mm-hmm and marrying someone having something to do with Kurt Angle and Booker T. Oh, I think it was her, his ex-wife. Uh, <laughs> well, now Karen Jared, but Karen Angle at the time. Oh, yeah, that's no, no. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying, yeah. like, I don't know what the hell no, was yeah, going yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, because it was funny because my call said, "Yeah, he hasn't wrestled in 11 years." So Booker T was like, "Wait, he wrestled in." <laughs> he didn't really say that, but somebody made like a meme out of it. Wait, I remember wrestling him this long ago. <laughs> Which is funny because he. I think Drew McIntyre posted up on Twitter that it, about his match with Kurt Angle, like, what, six, ten months ago uh-huh. at, in WCPW. Yeah. Yeah. It was just funny. That's because, not canon. I know. It doesn't I count. Know, I know. That happened overseas. It doesn't count. Yeah. Well, I love how they use that as an excuse. Yeah. Oh, overseas. Yeah. But anyway, ultimately, Jason Jordan rolls up Elias. For the three count, even though Elias' shoulder was off the ground, yeah, which was... I don't think it was ever on the ground to start when he started oh, no, no, the no, count. No. But so, it doesn't matter. Referees yeah. are dumb. Yep. And so I'm assuming we're going to get another match tonight on Raw between the two of them. Yeah, a rematch mm-hmm. because he didn't really lose. Mm-hmm. They should have a produce on a pole match. <laughs> or or a grocery store brawl like they did with the Booker Austin T and Booker Austin. T. That was that was fantastic. And have Booker Booker T be the special guest referee <laughs> because he cannot decide if he likes Jason Jordan or not. Yep. So who's he gonna he side with? He constantly was discrediting Jason Jordan. He's like, oh, this kid's okay. This kid's okay. Look at him. But, oh, what I'm saying is this and that. Just, yeah. He's so bad. Book- he was off his medication list. <laughs> I was gonna say. The, just the amount of times that Corey Graves and Michael Cole berate him for just being so inconsistent, it's really funny. It's good. You need that comic relief. Yeah, because at, at one point, I don't remember what match it was turning, but Corey Graves goes, Booker, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Hell, Booker forgot how to talk into the microphone one night. Or Michael Cole was like, you have to put the microphone in front of your face, Booker. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, after the match, uh, we go backstage with the Miz again, giving his troops a pep talk. Yeah, and basically say they're going to drive uh, their opponents to the dump or the dumb. Yeah, it was, you, a, uh... it was a special, 
There's a, a special event after the match. Mm-hmm. He's going to take them to the dump. And celebrate. Yeah. Eat so, garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Braun would be right at home. It's true. So uh, with his wife. Bray would be like, hey, man. <laughs> Am I invited? No, you're sick. <laughs> You're not allowed to play this week. I said something terrible to Christine during the TLC match. I was like, you know what would be the best way to end this match? Like, well, and I was like, Roman Reigns comes out and starts coughing on everybody. <laughs> oh, All man. right. Not so, funny. Very serious. Yeah. So so now we have the main event. Yeah. The and TLC this was match. a shit show, to put it in better terms. Just because there was yeah. so much going on and... Nothing was making sense. Not that it needed to make sense. No, it was, but it was, it was entertaining. Yeah, it was. It was a mess. It 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 reminded me of the Survivor Series match from last mm. year, the five, the men's one. Yeah, with uh, just all the nonsense, nonsense and then Shane on. getting hurt and them con- trying to continue the match. Yeah, yeah. So um, the the bar, the Miz, Kane, and Braun Strowman all come out, mm. and then. Surprisingly, the shields, or I guess Roman's music with mm. the shield call signs before it plays, and then Kurt, uh, not Kurt, um, Dean and Seth appear from the crowd, and then coming from behind was a very excited looking Kurt, Kurt oh, Angle. He, he was He's like, static. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and he was wearing a vest, which they presented him earlier on in the night. Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay. That I was in that one part. of the. Uh, parts between one of the matches i yeah. must have missed that part mm-hmm. then might have even been on the pre-show to be honest definitely possible actually as far as i saw mm-hmm. um there was no interaction between the three of them I gotcha. so i guess i just missed mm-hmm. that so you all three of them grab chairs and kind of surround the ring mm-hmm. and go in the ring and uh start going to town on everybody they're equalizers mm-hmm. That's what I think Michael Cole said later on that's the reason why the dean and seth are able to stay in the match probably so um but yeah, this was uh like like we said, it was a uh, it was a mess. Yeah, um, it, it, the beginning of the match was a lot of Kurt kind of looking for direction and yeah. kind of like, all right, what do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? Grab the ladder. Nope, you gotta hold it because <laughs> they were going to ram him, I think, at one point, and the ladder started opening up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was afraid that this was going to be a okay, Kurt really can't do much, mm-hmm. so we're gonna baby him kind of thing. And then he slowly started taking more bumps, mm-hmm. and then he like gradually actually started wrestling again, yeah. which was nice. So um, he did all this stuff with the spots with the ladder, mm. and then um, Dean and Seth both jump off of the... Yeah, they had two ladders set up in front of the announce tables with uh, Braun laying on one and Kane laying on the other. Yeah. Seth hit a frog splash off the ladder, and Dean yeah. did whatever Dean did. They hit the elbow. Yeah. Um, and then, so, and Seth, Seth I guess. sold the knee. Yeah, which is what <laughs> his go-to move mm-hmm. now, apparently. Um, a little later on, uh, Braun picks up, Kurt. uh, yeah, Dean set up a table, I think. Probably. And then, uh, Braun picks up Kurt Angle and power slams him, starting on one end of the ring, mm-hmm. running all the way around to the other end of the ring mm-hmm. and hits him with the, uh power slam yeah but he, he protected kirk good you could see him shifting him over and putting his arm over him. yeah so but, I, I i meant to bring this up earlier but uh during the women's match i think it was alexa and mickey they were chanting we want tables yes and i think during if if jason jordan and elias ended with a table spot they people, the fans would have been very happy with it they've been chanting we want tables at every pay-per-view for like the, <laughs> i know because no. they did it a hell in a cell too mm-hmm. so. damn fans yep but anyway, yeah, so Kurt got power slammed through the table, mm-hmm. and then EMTs or whatever well, come out. Well, they're actually just uh, enhancement talent, technically. I, I realize that. But gotta... they're, they're dressed in black, so they have to look pro- They <laughs> yeah. look professional. Because yeah. Christine, we were talking, and she was like, you know, if they were really EMTs, they probably would have taken that uh, vest off him to check out his neck to see if he was okay, and then, you know, make sure his neck isn't bothering him, because, you know, the man did have three broken necks. Sure. That's, that's why funny. they're not real. I know. It's just funny. Even when they're dressed mm-hmm. like they are, they're not real. Yeah. Um so And then uh, yeah, he got escorted to the back and mm-hmm. then the heel team just beats the crap out of Seth and Dean in the ring. Yeah. Dean was even beating himself up at one point. Wow. Well, that's he, what he always yeah, does. Yeah, he got thrown. He was just selling stuff that there was no need to sell. Yeah. Um so uh 
at this point, the Miz instructs Braun and Kane to drag Dean and Seth up the, to the ramp. This is where my feed cut out. Oh, okay. And I had to restart the yeah. router and everything. That's so um, the, you start hearing a beeping, which is very commonplace nowadays, mm-hmm. and a dump truck starts backing into the arena. It was a garbage truck, right? Yeah, it was a garbage truck. A dump truck. No. They're the same thing. All right, whatever. Anyway, um, so... The they come up and they're gonna they try to throw Dean and Seth into the into the the dump truck or the garbage truck however you wanna call it, um, and then <laughs> Don't make and, me and, do it. And then at this point, uh, they actually successfully throw them into the back of the truck, and then Dean and Seth all of a sudden get um a second wind. It's the same thing. It's not the same. It's thing. the same. No, thing. it's not. It's- all right, it's not the same. Thing. Yeah, thank you. It's you know, it depends on what you call it. All right, whatever. Anyway, uh, they get a second wind, and then they start attacking, and they're able to fend off um, the, the the five of them. And then for some reason, like Braun is going to attack them, and then all of a sudden Kane just starts, starts beating hitting up yeah. on Braun, and then he choke slams him off the stage. I guess there was this little area. Well, between the announce was, table, it and was the more stage. like. He chokes land him through the floor. Yeah. And uh and then he stands above him in victory and then looks up and sees the chairs dangling from the ceiling, pulls down on the chairs, and then it slams on Braun. Mm-hmm. So Braun's out for a while. And then Kane goes back over, um, and then they proceed to beat up Dean and Seth, Seth yeah. some more. Yeah, Dean's elbow was cut up at one point. Oh yeah, bleeding. a lot of yeah. a lot of blood yeah. last night. Not like bleeding yeah but a lot of a lot of cuts and stuff yeah um i think it was the back of mrs head yeah had maybe a, had a spot on I it too notice um so they're fighting over by the garbage truck and then braun gets up goes over starts beating up on kane and then uh seamus is our own miz start beating up on braun mm-hmm. and then they throw him into the back of the garbage yep. truck and then they compress it, and it goes up. So the fans start chanting, "That was murder," <laughs> <laughs> which was pretty funny. Yep. Um, and uh, so at this point, it is now a two-on-four match. Right. So uh, action goes back into the ring, mm-hmm. kind of. Um, I think the Miz was hiding, so it's basically Kane and Sheamus and Cesaro mm-hmm. against Miz um, and Dean. Yeah, not Seth and Dean. Seth sorry. and Dean. Um, Kane gets th- thrown through the, uh, the, like, the timekeeper's area mm-hmm. by Dean and Seth when they, like, I guess they kind of I thought Angle him. came out back at this point when they did that. I'm no, pretty sure he that, did. Oh, in that case, yeah, they had when, just gotten back to the mm-hmm. ring. Then Angle came out. Then that part happened. Yeah, because it, yeah, because Angle came down and, <clears throat> what, he hit Cesaro first? With, with the, the German, German, yeah, and then he hit Sheamus with no the ang- angle slam. No, he the first, he, yeah, the, the German on move... Cesaro, then an angle slam on Sheamus, yeah. and then an angle slam on Cesaro through the table. Yeah, I was gonna say the yeah. first move that he did That's was right. a German suplex, mm-hmm. but yeah, Kane did in fact go through the yeah. uh, the announce table, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, let's see. Yeah, because I thought Kane was attacking Angle, and that's when they took him out. But I don't. Oh, okay. So when Angle first came out, mm-hmm. Sheamus and Cesaro <clears throat> tried to attack him on the right. ramp. He hit yeah. both of them with Angle slams mm-hmm. on the ramp. Oh, okay. So um, and then yeah, Cesaro got put through the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the ramp. Right. Though. Yeah. So, but yeah, Dean or Kane went through the announce table, mm-hmm. and then and all three point, of them were left with the Miz in the ring, right? No um kane the three of them had gotten taken out Dan, uh, dean seth and kane were out in the the timekeeper oh right area. and then angle hit the angles in the ring by himself mm-hmm. the miz sneaks up behind him hits, hits him with, with a uh, skull cr- crushing finale and angle kicks out at like two and three quarters yeah and then he goes to do another one mm-hmm. on uh on a steel chair right and uh he yeah. reverses it into an ankle lock mm-hmm. which uh yeah, and then the Miz flipped over and kicked Angle, and he rolled out of the ring and landed on his neck on oh, the yeah, apron yeah, yeah. and yeah, then yeah. fell out. Okay, yeah, that's right. And then Dean and Seth got back in. That's when they hit the finisher, and Kurt came back in and hit the Angle slam, and, and then, then they, they set him up for the Shield power bomb. Yes. And that was the end of it. Yep. And the Shield wins. Yeah, that was not a surprise, obviously. No. No, no, no. 
Um, you aren't going to build all this up just to have them lose. So, And I guess Braun Strowman's a babyface now? Why not? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't know why Kane's a heel, but whatever. I don't know how long he's going to be around for. It's probably just this one match. Yeah. Um, I would expect maybe a program with him and Strowman very quick. Maybe? I don't know. Similar to yeah. him and Orton had on SmackDown where it just ended and that was well, it. Well, that was, that was setting up the Wyatt yeah. thing. And then he's been gone since then. Mm-hmm. So we're under the impression that this match like, probably didn't change at all between if Roman was in the match or no. if Angle is in the match. Just based off the, the way, way it was played booked. out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, but yeah. Overall, a decent show. Yeah. I, a I lot of it was better uh, than I expected. A lot of uh, exciting matches that we didn't think we'd see. It's true. So and the uh, return of Kurt Angle. It's true. And then AJ Styles on a Raw show. That's it. So, so yeah, that was our TLC review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.